The Anunnaki actually are not gone. They're still here. If you look at the text, you discover there was a second pyramid war which occurred between Amun-Ra and his relatives. Some fleet and some stay. They actually dropped what they called, listen to this, weapons of mass destruction on this planet. WMDs. <laughs> yeah, in ancient times. You thought, you thought George Bush Jr. came up with that term for the Iraq war? Where do you think he got it from? The tablets. And in this dropping of these weapons, it created something called an evil wind in the text. And then this evil wind, whoever was in it, where this evil wind was moving, we're talking about nuclear fallout of some type, radiation fallout. People's fingernails were falling off. Their hair was falling out. Their nose and eyes were bleeding. This is all symbols. Their skin was boiling. This is all signs of radiation, uh, radiation sickness. And when you look at the region that it was talked about being dropped in, you find the, the uh, Mohenjo-Daro in the Indus Valley. You find the, the Giza Plateau and many other areas around the region where sand and buildings were vitrified and turned into glass. Matter of fact, in the Indus Valley, bodies are still laying in the street. Google Indus Valley, Mohenjo-Daro. You'll see bodies laying in the street, holding hands, just the skeletons that have never, ever, ever uh, been uh, you know eaten by any wild animals because they're radiated. So we know that there was a nuclear war of some type in the ancient past. In this text, some of these beings fled to safe areas and some left. The ones that stayed continue to mate with humans and create offspring. And their ancestors and their bloodline is walking amongst us this very day. So in some ways, genetically, they never left. And all of us, including every single human on this planet, has a little touch of that DNA in our body. Any homo sapien sapien has a little slight touch of that DNA in our body. So in essence, we're all here. Now, I believe that they're watching us through the Black Knight satellite. That's why I wrote that documentary, the Black Knight satellite on uh, Beyond the Signal. They're watching us and they're monitoring us to see how far we're going to go and if we're going to become a rival of them.